Hi, my friends. Welcome to what the Bible says within Gozia Titi. So in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, God gave a commandment. He said, for this reason, shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and both shall become one body. And that union is called marriage. Marriage is one institution that God himself personally put together because he's very interested in it. And then he also commanded that man should have dominion over the earth and we should multiply and replenish the earth so that tells me that god is super interested in that union called marriage now i want to bring us an update of what happened to osinachi uh Mwachuku husband his name is peter Mwachuku. now osinachi burial date has been put you know has been uh, agreed upon and i also want to tell us that even before that date was agreed upon according to the family tradition and rights they had to return her bride price to the family of the husband because it was a taboo uh, you know that the husband had to kill the wife i mean via, via domestic uh, violence so they returned the bride price and as it is at death osinachi is divorced like even unto death so that may, that would not give them the chance to bury osinachi in the father's house traditionally in the Igbo culture in nigeria western part of uh, africa when a woman who is legally married dies he her corpse or her remains is buried in the compound of the husband and um but in this case, because they have dissolved the marriage, even in death, now her corpse, her remains will be buried in her father's house. And following also the circumstances that led to her death, the husband and even anybody from the husband's side, or rather now it will be ex former husband's uh, place, will not attend the bur burial. So sad. Now, a judgment has been passed on what you know on peter much who is osinachi's former husband he's been sentenced to death by hanging so sad so you see when there is domestic when we keep clamoring about domestic violence domestic violence these are the things we talk about we understand that two people two different individuals who grew up from different backgrounds coming together one way or the other they have different personalities they will disagree they will quarrel they will deliberate on some issues and will not agree at the end of the day we do understand all those natural facts but the thing is that when such things starts becoming a stress when it starts putting pressure in a marriage seek the consent of qualified marriage counselors seek their consent you might also they might even you know go further to even refer you to a therapist sometimes some of us just grow or come you know just grow up into an adult with with unmanaged anger or, or managed uh, temperament and then when there's any little frustration we take it up on our on our spouses which is which is really really wrong and that's what happened in the case of um Osinachi. So there has been cases of domestic violence and the husband took it away, took it on her and which led to her death, which is really what everybody is sad about that she was so full of life, but her life was cut short. But justice has been served and it was really served hot. The man will be sentenced to death by hanging. Now there is also an instruction for for the for the women. Verse 1. The Bible also has an instruction for the wives. He said, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. You see, the Bible had you know policy for everybody, both for the man and for the woman. And submission there simply means admiring, honoring, serving, and respecting the opinion of, of your own husband, and not even forgetting that your own body is your husband's body so there are several rules for everybody to follow by but whereby the, any of those things is lacking so this is where you know a third, a professional third party is needed maybe in terms of uh, spiritual leaders professional counselors to come help and put both couples right to help them you know understand what their role is and respect each other's role and everybody step into their own role in a situation where there is um uh, unresolved disagreement or maybe there is uh, domestic violence or stuff like that. The 
make sure whatever that is causing the disagreement or whatever that is causing the violence is being straightened and whereby this cannot be resolved then it is better to stay apart than to kill anybody and then lead to the consequence of what Peter Machu is facing now now the children are the one to suffer the pains and the, the, the psychological torture of the wrong choices that their parents took at the end of the day both the children are losing both parents just under a short space of time this was not what they bargained for they I'm sure the children hoped that both parents you know they grew up under the under the instruction of both parents but alas what is happening they lost both parents in a very tragic manner I pray that every marriage anybody that is listening to me whether you're married now or you're about to get married please follow the instructions follow what the Bible says and if you think it is not working please seek the consent of professionals and move you know take a step to to find a lasting solution and don't do anything stupid that will make you either lose your life kill somebody or go to jail this is just my humble advice but you know what i want to tell you that marriage is beautiful and marriage is something is very very interesting but make sure you are marrying somebody you love make sure you're marrying your friend and make sure you are you know seeking the consent of the holy spirit to help you make those right choices and if you have some challenges in any part of your life please seek the consent of therapies or professionals to help you tidy things up okay so until i see you in another video i want to say stay blessed stay stay happy and make sure you make the right choices and do what the bible says Shalom.